So here I am again, once again, ran out of the war powder and I'm going to show you what I put in here. I don't have a lot of the products here at home. They're at my botanica. So I'm just gonna kind of show you um, so you have an idea what I put in it and how I do it. So obviously everything needs to be powdered down into a fine powder. Um, so that, you know, usually what I do with it is I put it in my spells. You can put it in an oil lamp. You could do candle dressing with it. Specifically, I am going to use it to go to someone's house, sprinkle it all over. Um, ideally, you can sprinkle it inside. This causes a lot of havoc, a lot of chaos. And um, yeah, so powder everything up. I use, this is what I use to a cheese grater to powder everything up. So this is dog hair. Um, you can actually burn it and make it even into a finer powder, uh, but I don't have time for that. So the cat hair goes in it too. Why? Because cat and dogs don't get along, always scrapping. So uh, this from here, I'm going to use the wasp. Sorry, I'm holding the other half with my, the phone with my other hand. And I'm going to use the scorpion. Now remember, I sell all of these on my site. And the scorpion is broken. Why? Because the scorpion has a tail that stings. Okay, so here's the, my alligator. So this one, my husband actually got it from the, a swamp out in New Orleans where we used to live out there. So, um, let me see. And I like to use very powerful, um, like animals roadkill. It's really hard, but um, anyways, you get the idea. This is going in there. So I'm not pulverizing everything right now, but I'm just showing you uh, palo sticks. This one's palo diablo, which is diablo means devil. So this one causes a lot of harm and destruction as well. I'm going to put other palo sticks in there. Like I said, I don't, I don't have them here. They're at my botanica. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some toad. Again, cheese grater. It's going to go in there. So, let's see. This is a feather of a buzzard. It's called Mayimbe Palo. Very, very sacred and powerful bird. Um, we use this in all the revenge and... Uh, revenge and uh, breakups and... Uh, havoc and stuff like that. So this one I burn it down. I Cut all the feathers off. I burn it down and pulverize it into a powder and then it'll go in there Oops, oops, oops Let's see. Wasp nest so that's going gonna go in there some Dirt, wilderness dirt because again this is gonna sit next to my nganga get, gonna give it light so this is dirt from actually I got this one from New Orleans when I used to live there black salt a dead mouse grains of paradise you could also burn these or put them in a mortar so they can get pulverized. Hueso and Fumbe, can't really tell you what it is. Someone complained already. Always flagging my shit. But you had some negras. Um, this is the head of a goat used in a ritual. This has been sitting on top of one of the Ngangas. 
It's gonna go in there. Mommy. Mommy. And this is one of the palos from that that sits on top of the enganga. Mommy. Yes, baby. What happened? I I when my daddy got a um uh, uh, um TV. Oh, okay. Anyways, so there you have it. Really quick, I just wanted to show you guys. This war powder actually is my number one seller on my site. It's always running out. Uh, so I'm going to make plenty of it now because um, I'm going to need it for next week. So, Also, this is what I use in my breakup eggs. You can use it, like I said, very effective on candles, um, oil lamps, everything. This, I would say if you are into the dark, darker side like me, this is a staple. Make your own. Um, always better to make your own or get some from me. And I'm not really going to put chili peppers or anything like that because I want to maintain, as you can see, everything looks pretty dark. I want it to blend in. I want it to look like dirt. You don't want to go up to some, like, you know, spreading powders that are white or red and uh, make it obvious. So there you go.